Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I gladly bow. Sing it unto the Lord. It's not a special number. Forever you will be. Can you just just pray, talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm very serious with you. This business of kingdom life, I take it seriously. For those of you who are not serious with him, tell him, Lord, tonight you have my heart. Whether you are a pastor, you are a pope, you are a bishop, pray talk to the Lord. His presence is in this place. Tell him, Lord, I'm serious. I don't plan to be serious for just two years or until my husband or wife comes or until I'm ordained a pastor or until I have a parish. <laughs> Come on, pray and say, Lord, even if you stop answering my prayers, I cannot leave you. If you stop blessing me, I cannot leave you. Make sure you are praying. Lord, if you strip off the anointing from my life, I will still follow you. I love you more than anointing. I love you more than ministry. If no one else comes for koinonia, I will still love you. I will still serve you. I will still pour out my heart and my all. This is part of Koinonia. The message has begun. Make a commitment. The Lord will honor the commitment that you're making. For many of you, He's replacing the heart of stone with a heart of flesh, where the things of the kingdom no longer become a burden. Lord, you have my heart. This is for sure. You have my heart. You have my heart. You have my life. You have my life. Everything. 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 The skill. The grace. The wisdom. still praying pray don't open your eyes and looking at your neighbor none of your business with what he's saying just focus just focus and pray don't be looking at me or your neighbor make sure you are talking if you don't know what to say keep quiet Yes, this is how generals are made. You will remember this commitment because he will remind you in the future. When you become a millionaire, he will remind you. When you are having one million man crusade, he will remind you. I assure you.
when you are about to collect that bribe he will remind you when you are about to give yourself to serve Baal he will remind you I assure you you will not forget this commitment it all belongs to you oh, oh, oh it all belongs to you it all belongs to you it all belongs to you oh, 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 oh. it all belongs to you it all belongs to you you're dedicating your life oh, oh, oh. it all belongs to you everything belongs to you it all belongs to you oh, oh. This is the kind of Christianity that was practiced by the apostles. Unconditional Christianity. Not God give me a car and I will love you. Not buy me a bicycle and I will become your servant. That is a doctrine that came from the pit of hell. And Lord, I know you will bless me. But I love you more than the blessing. It all belongs to you. are the kind of people that will walk in the new wine of the spirit these are the kinds of people that will walk in the levels of grace of prosperity of power of influence men who have surrendered their hearts not just their hands who have surrendered their gifting have committed their all say Lord make me the celebrity and I will not be ashamed to declare your praises that you will not get to the point where the stupidity and the foolishness of honor that turns the great to become weak but you say Lord I love you and as I rise, I will lift your name. He said, and if I be lifted up, not you, not the apostolic ministry, not ENI, not Koinonia, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men. If your gifts lift him up, if your anointing lift him up, if you consciously hide yourself behind his cross, it does not happen automatically you must consciously keep yourself he said i keep my body under me say lord
Lord, I desire that you alone be lifted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That we be grounded. That we be built. That we be established in righteousness. Enough of that kind of Christianity where in a crowd and a multitude of people, only less than 10 people are serious with God. And that becomes the pride of the pastor. It's time we begin to shout until the least among us become as great as David. Where every one of us can stand by himself and legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven where every one of us can stand for truth and be a voice that declares the word of the Lord in every area of ministry and life that God will find an ambassador in you this is our mandate and we can change this country we can change the continent of Africa and we will because there is an ability beyond us hallelujah praise the lord now please look up everybody how many of you are being blessed and changed by koinonia in all sincerity the day we stop ministering the word to you God has a right to seize ministry from us because from that time we become showmen and actors on stage hallelujah let me show you something Ephesians chapter 2 I hope that one day when you become a pastor look at me when you become a pastor in future and you make slavery out of your members, we will call you and we'll ask you where you learned it from. Hallelujah. The reason why we are careful with our lives many times is so that we do not sow the seed of bondage and corruption in the hearts of many people. And so we allow death to walk in us so that life will walk in you hallelujah paul said follow me as i follow after christ run away from all this wrong concept of ministry and concept of glory where you dominate your fellow man in a bit to show you are great the greatest in the kingdom is a servant humility is a revelation it's not an act there is a revelation that keeps you in that state hallelujah away with that ambition of lording it over people and have i fear people that serve me i've said this thing for years till today i'm not able to call people sons and daughters because i know how of much of a baby i am in the presence of god and so what is the extent of grace that will make me call someone a son or a daughter and I run away from these kinds of things because I know that anybody that assumes a position of honor will be judged even more make sure your priorities are defined about life about leadership about ministry kill away the wrong mindsets that we have received where you lord it over people that's not the way of the spirit when the spirit of god finds expression in the life of a man if all you have to show for your yieldedness is that you can blow and people fall down you are still a baby in the spirit hallelujah we must be built and be matured men of character men of grace men of humility hallelujah Blessed be the name of the Lord. All right, let me have 
um, please as I make these calls if you belong to this category just run out quickly I will embarrass you let me have someone that knows God is calling him in the place of ministry just one person one God is calling you in the place of music come out quickly as I'm calling just if you are bold and you are confident if you are thinking about it just remain there one person you are what music do you sing but in your other shirt you should leave only one dress properly hallelujah what of you music hold on i just need come i'm not praying we are doing something How, okay um music all of you okay don't worry just just go back to your seat appreciate them please i just need one person music okay let's have two of you someone in fashion and design fashion and design quickly who will make sure it's what you are doing not dreaming about yet at least that you have a seed on ground and make sure when you come out here you dress properly don't dress like a hooligan dress like a leader right don't come out with with comb in your pocket and you're laughing no you dress like you know where you are going don't look like a foolish person it's touts that look like that hallelujah you comb your hair you look smart you look like where you are going don't dress like a thief that's why they keep stopping you on the road hallelujah all right let's have someone in education education someone who is education anybody you know god is calling in the area of education please appreciate them as they come someone in family life you know you have a passion family life who is that education family life who is represent okay i will too appreciate her someone in politics and governance you know that there is grace for you in that area make sure you know what you are standing for if you are not sure please go back to your seat hallelujah please come up and face the congregation all of you uh someone in arts and entertainment fashion you're a beauty you are a beauty uh what do we call it makeup artist beautician where are you oh she looks it no problem just come up you're a pastor Why are you laughing? You people always think, come on, Pastor, beautiful. One more person, come on, celebrate her. I like people who are bold and confident. Hallelujah. All right, so just group yourself fashion, beauty, this side. Next, music. Next, your what? Decoration education two of you beautiful please stand family life politics and governance hallelujah all of you are 10 coin on here right hallelujah okay um sweetheart come now you are a pastor walking in grace you've attended our miracle services right and you've seen the grace of god and as a christian who has been built you have the opportunity to talk in a bereavement now you walk in miracles you walk in signs and wonders but a family has lost their loved one and they just push you as you are now all right with the knowledge of what we have been training the building and everything how would you approach how would you communicate the light of christ and comfort the family make your mistakes don't be afraid this is a training ground nobody i assure you listen nobody will look at you and speak whatever you can i'm comforting you here i'm standing by your side okay all right go ahead praise the lord praise the living god are there living souls here praise 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 the living god Hallelujah. amen well to me i'll go to such family because you know life without jesus if that family are not from are not maybe let me say they don't know much about christ because you cannot just go into a family and just start you understand if they don't know about christ you first preach 
Christ to them. Praise the Lord. And also, you cannot do it by your own power. You need God. Praise the living God. Before you go and meet any family, you need to go on your knees. Not only on your knees, you need to go to God. God, I want to go to that family. What do you want me to say? How do you want me to comfort them? Praise the living God. Hallelujah. And with the help of God, you see that God will give you words to say. Praise God. God bless you. Come on, please appreciate her. Yes, we are proud of you. You are learning very well. Hallelujah. That's the life of a minister. You never do things without the leadership of the Holy Spirit. That's all I was looking for. This is what we are teaching you. Are you following me now? How many of you like Koinonia 101? No carryover. No carryover whatsoever. Hallelujah. So that you'll be established. When you step out, you should know that you have been trained. When you graduate from AB, you behave like an Abusite. And you know you are smart. You cannot graduate from ABU and behave as if you did not go to school. Hallelujah. So when you are going to a buried family, you don't just go arrogantly and go and meet them and say, do you know that we attend miracle service and we are all these kind of things. You are behaving like a child here. If you don't know what to say, what do you do? Keep quiet. There is wisdom in silence. I told you to read the book of Proverbs. The moment you are in the midst of people, especially elderly people, and you don't know what to say, shut your mouth. That's what Elihu did until wisdom came unto him. Hallelujah. Politics and governance comes up. We live in a very corrupt country. Hallelujah. Where every Tom, Dick and Harry has access to a part of the national treasury. Anybody can loot. Hallelujah. And now you become the chairman of a local government. There's subvention, there's allocation. Eh? There's, there's everything for you. And now we have taught you to represent Christ. Assuming you have to address your leaders, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, free thinkers, wicked people, demons, all kinds of people. And now you are supposed to communicate the life of Christ. You have been receiving the teachings here. Listen, if you cannot translate the word that you are receiving here into a practical reality, we have been wasting our time. Hallelujah. Go ahead, sir. Feel free. Express yourself. Praise God. Two minutes in a country like nigeria where there is high level of incubation of um, corruption i as one pardon the whole um, pattern of um, bureaucracy and so on and so forth but there's a need for strategic planning we saw that in the life of jesus christ where he was able to coordinate his disciples in assigning um, respective assignments to them um, all around you know and in the same regard you being able to contend with um society is another aspect which you need to put into consideration which jesus christ continually was um faced with um, challenges from the sadducees and the pharisees but consistently the application of wisdom which of course didn't just come um naturally but he prayed and actually wisdom was then granted unto him he was commissioned into his assignment and so the same will i do amen Okay, so you have not told us what you are going to tell them. So, assuming you are addressing a group of people, what give us one solution that can help to bring good governance in this country? We are tired of nonsense. Speak to us. Good governance is an active role in key participation. Everybody has, um, based on the... From a kingdom perspective, not social studies. All right. From a kingdom perspective, participation, one major aspect which we need to do is actually not looking at the importance of any office, but actually operating with a mindset of humility. You just said not quite long ago, humility is a revelation. It is not um, an understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. And so as a Christian, when you go into public office, it's not for you, it's a waiting day for all. You have to chop. They have, they have chopped their own. No. As a Christian, you must go with the attitude of servanthood. Your blessing is tied to the operation of the economy of the kingdom, not in looting from the treasury. Hallelujah. And you face a lot of challenges because there are people above you. But you must refuse to compromise. 
don't go and steal money and come and lie to us in the church and carry small and say joshua selman this is for you to go on air we will drive you away with it that's why we are believing the word of god for ourselves hallelujah so when we vote you sir make sure you represent christ now i can talk to you but when you get there when you forget one night you will dream of koinonia and you will dream of this warning god will threaten you and say mr man he will do to you what he did to adeboe the day you mess up i will erase you from the ground we are proud of you go and represent the kingdom family life <laughs> hallelujah marriage right now is a union between two things anything a man and a whale a fish and and, and, and and anything a man and a baby I've said it again if you are considering marriage it is paramount that the partner you are thinking about must be of the opposite sex hallelujah it's amazing that the Senate in Nigeria can be debating gay marriage a man and a man a woman and a woman we call it human rights and that westernization and that nonsense is creeping through films the, is there anybody in media here no media media come on we cannot move without the media who is there we need one person from the media quickly all right family life ma now you are supposed to talk sense into family there's all kinds of things going on a man believes the wife is his slave the wife believes the man is whatever everybody comes with every how do you approach from a kingdom perspective what do you think is the solution to restoring discipline and godliness in america a child is 14 years old the mother says sit down here say, i'm gonna see you to cut and the child slaps his mother and we call it human rights isn't it and when you get a cane and whip the child we call it all kinds of names i don't plan to beat my children but i plan to discipline them <laughs> praise the lord um the bible says that now we have a more sure word of prophecy and we have the Bible to always go back to. Praise the Lord. And um, as Monroe said, that when a purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. So in the family, everybody has his or her place. Hallelujah. The father, the priest of the home, and then the mother and all that. And um, I know women lately, there have been um, women trying to um, is it campaign for their place for their right hallelujah but from the scripture it's it's um, obvious where the place of the woman is where the place of the man is the children and all that so um, what I would do as a person of course seeking having sought for the leadership of the Holy Spirit is to um, bring to the consciousness of the people your place hallelujah as a child as a father as a mother hallelujah and then to trust the holy spirit to lead us hallelujah amen bless you beautiful how many of you are proud of the people this is just a random sampling it's a true proof of whether we are making progress or not hallelujah praise the lord media in five minutes a nation can become become drug addicts or, or because a celebrity went on air he was allowed to go on channel o or mtv right and you see all kinds of things and now we have on youtube ipad everything you can i mean you just need to go on youtube there's everything free pornography how to shoot guns how to kill people now god is sending you to the media you're an apostle to the media what do you think you can do or how do you plan to approach to bring the kingdom thank god for tv stations 
Christian TV stations. I think you should appreciate every ministry and every servant of God around the world that has a TV station. It's a breath of fresh air in this jungle of Babylon. Every channel you tune into, their lies, the media, people tell lies, they are manipulated by government. If God gives you a television ministry, will you let me be on your TV ministry? Most definitely, sir. Uh, because you're my teacher. And the, the, main, the main reason why they every been was created is to give glory unto God. And every invention of man is an extension of the creation of God. So if the media was created by man, it means that the purpose of the media is to bring glory to God. And if it's not glorifying God, then the purpose of it has been defeated. So most definitely, if I get to own a television station, when I get to own a television station, thank you, sir. It, it, the Bible would be the only law that is followed. If it is out of the scriptures, then it is not existing. Hold on. I hope you know that right now on TV stations, many TV stations, you can't say Jesus. Even God is becoming an issue. You must say divine or just something or highest. Something in the highest. Whatever it is. Paper, UFOs, whatever in the highest. So how do you plan to come in bluntly? Do you plan to be very blunt about Jesus Christ? Extremely First blunt. of all, so that we'll know now whether we need to talk to you or... I am extremely blunt about Jesus Christ. And it will be replicated in every institution that is established, that the Lord used me to establish. If we can't say the name of Jesus Christ on air, then there is no business being in the business of media. Because Jesus is the person that we're looking up to. He's the being. He's the most divine thing. He's the creator of the universe. He's the creator of the person that created media. So most definitely, if we cannot revile him on air, then we have no business being on air. So Jesus would be the yardstick for every single thing. For an advert to come on air, we must first check it. What is the implication of this advert on people? There are theories that guide the media. And these theories have one of the most popular theories in the media is the magic bullet theory that tells you that the media has the power to act exactly the way a bullet pointed at a human being will act that once it shoots you it takes effect immediately uh, that meaning that it has a way of reforming your mindset it has a way of transforming your mindset so we must look at every single content from that perspective is this television program how is it going to affect the people positively or negatively teaching our people how to prepare for war will it affect them positively or negatively showing a news that of something that's happened uh, in somewhere will it affect the people positively or negatively accepting some musical videos will it affect the people positively or negatively if it does not affect the people positively then it cannot go on air because if it does not affect the people positively then it means that it is definitely going to be destroying lives it's going to be, it's not only going to be destroying the immediate life that you're seeing but it's going to be destroying generations to come because it's what you have learned today that your seed will replicate so if it is not in the scripture it is not going to be on air yeah. hallelujah this is powerful hallelujah let me tell you something these guys will do what they are talking about they are not pretending it and i like his competence you see him now so you can talk to a group of unbelievers who are media people so we are not just training you to pray in tongues alone. There is a place of creativity. There is a place of digging deep. You know where God is calling you to begin to build and prepare. I never knew there was a theory that governs media. But this is smart. You are learning something right now. Hallelujah. Don't just be spiritually braced up. You must be competent enough to invade the cosmos and bring intelligent presentation of the kingdom how many of you know ravi zacharias one intelligent apologetic he stood and preached before atheists and all kinds of people communicating the wisdom of the word hallelujah education we have all kinds of people students being victimized university of abuja they've asked the students to go and relocate you can imagine after spending years of work because of the corruption of the administration those in final year will have to go and start scouting for universities to start again this is the recent announcement 
allocations that are sent to the educational sector don't reach everybody chops his own nuc gets his own everybody gets his own there's project from educational tax fund to build universities build roads build all of these things and they are not being effective after five years they build and say 1999 project they do it in 2005 so how do you if you become the vice chancellor of amadu bello university in 2000 and what do what don't you like today that you think you can change quickly one minute praise the lord firstly the bible says he who lacks wisdom let him ask of the lord who give it liberally that's the first thing so if i'm the vice -chanc chancellor i would like all students to know that as as children of god we are ambassadors of heaven that's the first thing we are ambassadors of heaven which means that we are representing God. So everybody, as long as you ask for the course you want to read in your field, God is sending you there to effect a change, definitely. And God is a God of, he, he, has, he plans his things right before time. So he has sent before you. So if you ask definitely of, if we ask definitely of God, he has sent us to effect a change. So if I was a VC and, um, of ABU or whichever school, the first thing I will do, the very first thing I will do, is to bring up programs, not only education line. Because nowadays I found out that, okay, for, exa for example, last week I was opportunity to be on a particular program. Okay. A particular program I'm going to bring up is an idea, idea, idea challenge program. Something that can boost up um, students' IQ. So that in the nearest future, they can actually stand on their own and do something independent on their, on their own with God. So that's what I'm going to do. Are you going to increase lecturer salary? Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. Education too. What do you have to say? 20 seconds. Amen. Well, mine will go to the parts of the students. Because seriously, I think what is eating deep into our educational sector these days is laziness on the part of the students. That is, we rely on examination my, pra my practice. I think that is what, that is what pains me most. In the part if of become, education. If you become the, 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 what do they call, the rector of JAM? Well, as the, if when I become the rector of JAM, I will definitely look for the right ways. But I think being the rector of JAM is really going too far. I'm looking at it in a, in a place whereby before the students come to write exams, who are they actually? Because whatever JAM have in place, it is actually what a student actually is that he goes to do. Because JAM have brought up so many innovations, but exam my practice is the more they bring up new innovations, the more people devise ways. So we have to look for a way that to, to make students know that they can do it on their own. Because what we have now is students who don't really believe in themselves. We believe that you see people come and pray, 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 and at the end of the day you go to the exam hall after reading that you still go. What was your prayer for in the first place? If you really pray and believe that God is going to answer your prayer, I don't believe we should still go into exam. So I'm looking at it in a personal way. As a student, look at it that you can do it with the help of God. If you can pray to God and read your books, you can do it on your own. Hallelujah. Powerful. So when, when you get into the educational sector, organize programs that encourage students. All right? Organize programs that encourage students on billboards of schools instead of writing Socrates, say, Write, you can make it, you can believe it. Draw the student in every faculty, draw students receiving their convocation certificate before they step into their lecture theaters. That's what they are seeing, they will become what they are seeing. Hallelujah! That's how to apply scripture. Music, come, music, we've had people deceive us in church we sponsored them they went on air they produced album we bought it marketed it for them 
only for them to go on air and then sign up with something we don't understand they started reducing jesus to god god to divine divine to you you to her her to queen queen to princess princess to us are you aware of the challenge that you have to face in the music industry what's your result praise god um, one thing is this Mu you don't do music because you see others excel in music you do music because it's a calling it's a gift and one thing we need to realize is that you can't give what you don't have for you to give life you need to have life for you to minister anointing you need to have anointing you need to be grinded in the word of god music is not what will come outside and just start shouting you can even you with a rough voice you can minister anointing to people your private time we should have quality time with god in our private in our privacy you need to give what you have not just come and make sure of your voice and your 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 vocal prowess to to minister life you need to have life and the word of god should be taken seriously god should be our inspiration hallelujah have you written any song Name two Christian gospel artists in Nigeria that you know. Samsung. Frank Edward. God bless you. Appreciate him, please. Please go back. If you tell us you are called into ministry and we tell you name two gospel ministers and, and you are chewing your mouth, we will not castigate you but we will tell you go and sit down. Right? Then you pass paper and say I want to minister in Koinonia. We say no. Go and sit down. Work on yourself first. Hallelujah. Stand out. Okay. Praise the Lord. Came to realize that in our today's world, there are many souls that are dying. There is someone that God wants to use to pull children to the kingdom of God. I want to take the example of Michael Jackson, the king of pop. If Michael just should be a child of God, the crowd, he has moved proud to the world. But if that person is, a, is safe and he has pulled this crowd, all of them will make it to heaven. So when he died and I saw the crowd that are coming to him for his burial, it was a challenge to me. I said, this one, if it is for God now, what will happen? Could I have been a great soul winner? Praise the Lord. Now when I was told that Sarah you are called to sing and I say God can I sing I don't know how to sing but I may have people sing you for your glory and I don't know anything about music but I submit and anytime I stand and I handle the mic I see the power of God moving and I say Lord connect me to the people that will try me so that when I come out when you announce me that voice that the people that are waiting for me that unsafe soul that are waiting for me will come and bow down before it through my administration in Jesus name Praise the Lord. Two music schools for you. Steve Strings has his music school. Ruben has his music school. Go and meet him. You will talk with him. He will train you. He's very gifted in that area. Go and meet him now. Hallelujah. Fashion. Who is? Okay, we'll soon round up. There is there is the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Hallelujah. Fashion. Right now, the world, every day, Versace, Gucci, um, Boss, everybody is bringing up everything. Huh? All kinds of perfumes, all kinds of things. All right? And uh, we have everybody, all kinds. Right now, you see naked ladies on perfumes that are for men. I mean, completely naked. And you know all kinds of things so how do we by the way let me tell you something for music guys do you realize that when michael jackson died in three days the album that he was supposed to use for his tour sold 120 million dollars in three days after his death 
people went to buy it. So music brings you to a position where you are an influence over people. That's the right time to communicate Christ. Hallelujah. So fashion. We have fashion parade, tarabangs, all of the people. How do you plan to compete with those world-class people? They are very good. They are very competent. They are not small at all. All they are Brazilian with on all, all of these things. How do you plan to come in with it? Hmm? They are Mary Kay, they are Gucci Rush. Hallelujah. As a good designer, you must have to go out, seek. Kingdom perspective. How do you plan to be invaded? Not how do you plan to do the job. Just how do you plan to let Jesus come? Okay, through that. You must have to be careful. There are some perfumes that you must have to be careful when you are putting it. You understand? You must have to be... Let him talk. What is your business? I asked you to come out. You didn't come out. You must have to be very careful because in every aspect of this life, you bring out fashions. There are some fashions that they are evil. You understand? So, spiritually, you must have to say no for that. that let, I'm just assuming this, this is a shirt. Isn't it? I wear this shirt today. You don't know how it comes. It's coming about that. And you go out looking for it no, without knowing that this shirt is from maybe from evil uh, 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 spirits. You, you begin to go and buy it. So you must have to be very careful spiritually allow the spirit to lead you in every fashion that you are wearing or you are putting like so many girls they are backsliding you see their heads putting appreciate him come on appreciate him encourage him hallelujah Paul said anyone who is not against us is for us come on appreciate him God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. What's that? Boutique. Beauty, makeup artist. Education. Oh, both. Come. Makeup artists. Oh. Hallelujah. We'll give you one minute. I'm, I'm very serious about it. I'm, I'm a strange man of a person. Hallelujah. One minute. All right. How do you plan to make our sisters nice and beautiful, all right, without causing the brothers to go to hell? <laughs> brothers, am I speaking? Yeah. Am I speaking? Yeah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I will tr try, by the grace of God, to see that I make them up in such a way that to the glory of God you make up to the glory of God and not to the glory of man and just like I see it as a calling I, I know it's not normal it's not just a normal thing look good as in you know the right thing to wear the right thing to put on even your lipstick should glorify God your eye pencil or whatever your powder should glorify God not the one you, you put on and look like a masquerade. Praise God. Hallelujah. In other words, they are asking, ladies, how many percent of you is the real you? Hallelujah. As we all know, essence of everything is bad. Um, you can always look beautiful. Um, doing your makeup lightly, not too um, too bold. And when you are um, making up, you it should go with what you're wearing. And I, I like like now when you're applying pow uh, powder or um, our foundation, whatever it. Okay, as a, as, as a Christian makeup artist, I would advise that you make up lightly. Don't make it too shouty. You still look beautiful the way you are. Praying in tongues makes you beautiful. 
That's a big secret, I'm telling you. I know you will not agree. That's a big secret. I'm telling you, if the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives in your mortal body, that same spirit will quicken, vitalize. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Um, I told some of my friends that sometimes when I get jobs and then you look at the people you're about to make up, you can't help but start praying. Hallelujah. Because sometimes you don't know where to start from. Again, I'd like to say that trend changes, but style is, doesn't change at all. So the best thing to do, like she said, is moderation. Hallelujah. Now, the problem we have in the fashion world is that we ladies, we don't want to wear what this, this lady is wearing. All of us, we want to look different, you know. So to an extent, we try to overdo things. But the secret is just this. Look 60% the trend and then 40% your own spice. Thank you. Hallelujah. Look, let me tell you something. Listen to me. Save yourself headache and don't die for nothing. Do the best you can and leave the rest of God. Don't kill yourself and say, I must look this. Must you do it? Who is complaining about how you're looking? See, there, there's pressure to be everything. I don't dress because this is the trend. Hallelujah. I dress when I like something, I wear it. You don't put me under pressure and say, this is how men of God, I don't know what they believe. I don't know what they are doing. Don't put yourself under pressure, especially ladies. Say, ah, this we've won is 5,000. You have 6,000, you are dying to use the 5,000 and fix it. Wash the one that you have and... and use it again who said you keep using it for the rest of your life is it only your roommates that will know hallelujah we put ourselves under all kinds of pressure blackberry you must use the blackberry you must use this if your phone does not have camera you are embarrassed you beg your friend to help you you are not an ambassador you have you look older than your age because if you keep doing that for years, you, you will look, the stress will kill you. I appreciate all these people. Go back to your seat. God bless you. So together, are we making progress? Hallelujah. I didn't call these people because of a variety tonight. Hallelujah. I called to test at a particular point when Jesus was teaching. He said, 12 disciples, come and he sent them he said let me know whether or not we are making sense and they came back he sent the 70 and the bible says they came back rejoicing and they said even the devils were subject to us in thy name hallelujah it's important for us to know that there is transformation and there is change happening in the life of everybody not everybody is going to be a pastor here true or false so our ministry is not just for pastors. Not everybody here is going to be a, an entrepreneur, a business person. Not everybody, maybe not everybody will even marry. I didn't say God said it. I said not everybody. You can choose. Hallelujah. But that whatever it is, the Bible says we are God's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. That's what it means to be an ambassador. An ambassador is the representative of a government. If we, if we just work on ministers alone, what happens to the politicians? That's why Nigeria is suffering. We have men of God, we have no voice in our Senate. And the one or two that are there, the voice of the world will strangle them to a point that they have no voice. We don't want it to happen that way. There is a strategy that God is giving us. Are you following me now? I've said it here that the true apostolic ministry does not just train people. It invades people and shifts cultures, systems. So whether it's Steve Strings or, um, or Jimmy on air. Jimmy, when we see you on exclusive to divinity. Or um, Alheri doing her fashion, whatever. You know, all of these things that we can see that Christ is being directly 
before now the church has thought that the only way to train people is to just get them to pray get them to study the bible hallelujah and then have their nice and small house but there are policies being formed every day and we are suffering the consequences if we do not have voices that rise in these systems a time will come the church will be strangled are you listening to me in a place like zaria it's very difficult to give a church a land hallelujah there are many difficult ways so don't say it does not matter otherwise a time will come when certain policies will be put together do you know right now in which of the countries i don't know they officially permitted gay all right and not just gay but the gay can choose any church that they want to wed so they can come for koinonia now and say you must wed us and if you do not the government will seize your license you know it's only in nigeria that you can start ministry when you like abroad you there are there are ways you do it in, in, in you don't just do it whether you're a miracle worker or not are you following me now so you can imagine that that kind of thing don't say it cannot come to nigeria this is spiritual and if believers do not rise in that area if god does not have a voice we are in trouble hallelujah and this is what kingdom invasion is all about this is the principle that great men like Sondia Delaja used and they caused the orange revolution in Ukraine. A city that is a racist nation. But he brought a revolution in that city and forever his name will be in the sands of time as a revivalist. The church must become a platform for training and building. Believers must be able to come to church and not just get educated but get equipped and trained believers are not idiots we are intelligent people we are just spiritual that's all it doesn't mean we don't have common sense the church has taught believers to kill away your common sense that the way you love god is have no sense of reasoning again so the moment you step out of church you have no relevance to the system whatsoever we need believers that can have a voice both in the system jesus spoke to pharisees the government of the land he had something when he went to farmers and business people he could communicate to them he went to prostitutes and the outcasts he could relate with them jesus could relate with every strata of society he met the military people he had something to tell them he understood the law to the point that when caesar came he said give to caesar what belongs to caesar he understood the legal side of ministry Paul had this understanding. A time came, it was not his anointing that saved him. He said, look, let me tell you, I am a Jew. I was trained under Gamaliel, a Pharisee to the core. I understand these principles. Don't take it for granted that I'm preaching the cross. Doesn't mean I'm an idiot. I'm an intelligent scribe and Pharisee. And it saved him. By the way, let me tell you, Paul was not a tent maker. All right? Paul made prayer shawls, not tents. To add it to your Bible knowledge, Paul was not a tent maker. The translators made a mistake. His job was prayer shawls, not tents. Hallelujah. Do you believe that we are the revivalists that are going to shake this nation? Do you believe that we are the ones who will arise? Do you believe that above and beyond ABU, above and beyond Zaria, there is an international anointing upon your life. This is what God told me to do tonight. Do you believe that all these teachings on faith, we are teaching on faith, we are teaching on character, we are teaching on giving. You know, I've been so, I'm sure the ministers have been impressed by the turnout of Titus again and again and the way people are becoming obedient to the word of God. Hallelujah. We are teaching these things. Grooming, equipping. This is what it means to equip, to supply the tools that it takes to rule and to reign. I assure you, you will not regret what you are doing. Many of you will thank God that you pass by Zaria in your destiny. Hallelujah. We are God's workmanship. Say, I am his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. I am absolutely confident. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do you know that seated among us here, if only God can open our eyes prophetically, 
to see the caliber and the class of people who are seated here maybe you did not know that they will graduate such great generals today they celebrate generals all around if they are known that all of these men today who are generals and world-renowned figures this is how i've said something i said this thing right from the days we used to meet at the back of um at the back of of chapel i said we are going to be great in life and the beautiful part is we will all know ourselves we'll be related to one another hallelujah creating a kingdom community is the key to sustaining kingdom values we are not wasting our time this is not just church as usual oh you jot and write hallelujah you get up uh -uh. that you leave koinonia with a resolve in your heart without this understanding your christianity becomes boring because you don't know what else to do when you are born again and filled with the holy spirit we do not know that Christianity is not just a religion of servitude, but it's a call to responsibility where we can represent Christ. So you see that every time you are building, while you are in class, others just want to pass and go. You are conscious of the fact that I am an ambassador. So they are just doing malpractice. They are not even listening to what the lecturer is saying because they want to go. But you know that I am different. Hallelujah. When people are getting thorough, you are serious, you are buying books, you are building, you lock yourself, you are fasting like that gentleman for five days. Why will someone be fasting? Our media department just a week or two finished, I think, five or seven days fast. How can a media department be fasting? For what? To hold camera? But this is how much they see where they are going. Listen your comprehension of where god is taking you determines how much you are willing if you know you are going far it will not be a burden for you to prepare right now are you listening to me the way many of us are preparing we plan to end in zaria or to end in kaduna state or to end in the north i told myself something i said before my parents go to be with the lord they will know they gave birth to a son indeed hallelujah can your parents say that about you or they just look at you and when you are getting married your father just look at you and say thank god thank god 29 years of misery thank god we are his workmanship i bring you a message very simple message tonight that the lord is counting on you the Lord is counting on ambassadors and generals. Don't just grow up and get old. Realize that you have an assignment. Shout it. Say, I have an assignment. I have a mandate. I am not a non-entity. I am going somewhere to happen. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you. I know this about my life. I knew this years ago and today by grace I have the privilege to teach and talk to God's people it's not a mistake hallelujah are you listening to me please Steve stand up he was my roommate we were roommates hallelujah and what happened those times he used to bring keyboard room 155 old block you bring keyboard and I'll be on the keyboard and he'll be on the guitar. And then Andy, now Ambassage, who received a, a, one of the awards as, as, as the best gospel rapper. That was where we would worship. Then no koinonia, no apostle, who apostle can, no nothing. No money to buy any suits like this, no nothing. Nobody calling you sound, no nothing, but we believe. And Steve would play the guitar. I remember sometimes during our, our devotion in the morning, other people from other rooms would come because we would worship. I'll never forget the time we had a divine visitation. We were worshiping and we held our hands, three of us, and we prayed in tongues and there was such a dense presence of God. And that was how we lay down and slept there. The power of God. I remember those times I'll be sitting down and the power of God would come upon me so much and I'll just look for them and just be lay hands 
those were days of practice we are still under practice but a higher level of practice who would have known he didn't have the name strings yet but today the grace of God has made him a voice around and everywhere you go to you save Steve strings people clap and some of you admire him and say oh dear just like many of you will stand five years from now and look at your congregations yes 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 you'll be married to the pastor and when you stand and see every kind of misbehavior you address it squarely and they ask you where did you learn this kind of thing from you say i remember there used to be one one big mouthed young guy like this in zaria that will not let us rest yeah how come you are walking and you are prophesying like this yeah there was one yellow guy and i saw the way you prophesy and every time you're making your congregation laugh and they say where did you learn it from come on tell me who you say was doing it yes this is where god is taking us steve strings i just brought him up to tell you and this is only the beginning i will not be surprised today if i see steve strings playing and you're watching kicc and you just start and say tell me i'm dreaming this is Steve. Don't say you are dreaming. You think he's playing. Or one day, suddenly, you have been praying that I won't go on air. I will go one day. <laughs> Let me assure you. I know many of you are praying and say, Kai, oh God, please, all these kind of people, don't go. I will go. God will take me there. And you will be part of the partners. Because God will speak to you and you are promised to be obedient. hallelujah i believe what i'm saying with the whole of my heart this is not the end of eni this is not the end of koinonia this is just a step out of the cave compared to where we are going for your life i may not know you by name listen to me you are lost in the crowd sitting here that was how i used to sit down years ago when men of god are preaching i'll be in fcs sitting quietly and men of god will come and preach some of you the grace of god is upon your life and lost in that crowd and today by grace this is how some of you by grace will be called out this is how some of you will stand some of you will be the dangotes and the otedolas and they'll be asking you to say how come nigeria is booming in agriculture like this and you say there is one called the holy spirit the holy spirit as a businessman you say yes yes you not just say god those of you who said god here yeah, i hope you know the god you are talking about i believe this with all my heart this is what we are striving after some of you are seated here you will have ministries you will be the next benny hymns you know i'm not lying the spirit of god tells you that what this guy is saying is not a lie some of you women will move in strange anointings. You will move in the anointings of Catherine Kuman, the anointings of Amphi McPherson, Madame Gunion, Maria Woodward Eater. You will bring revival in this nation. I know it. We are going to pray just for five or ten minutes and then we are done. This is my message tonight. I kept thinking about this all through. And I was wondering, I said, Lord, you really want me to do this? And the Lord said, yes. We are going to rededicate ourselves and say, Lord, here is my life. Here is my life. Here is my life. Here is my life I want to give in serving my fellow man. Doing the will of God, here is my life. Here is my life. Here is my life. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Here is my life. I want to give. I want to give. 
in serving my fellow man, doing the will of God. Here is my life. Here is my life. Here is my life. Rise up on your feet. Here is my life. Here is my life. Come on, sing. Here is my life. Here is my life. Here is my life. Go ahead and begin to pray and say, Lord, here is my life. Pray, say, Lord, I'm the one Joshua Selman has been talking about. You will commit great ministries to the nation. You will commit anointings into my hands. You will commit grace. Pray. Say, Lord, you are talking about me tonight. Here is my life. Pray. Kingdom invasion. Invading the cosmos. I am God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Bible says you are a royal priesthood. You are an holy nation. A peculiar people. Called to show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Pray. Say Lord I will change my sphere of influence wherever you are sending me to pray here is my life train me let the wisdom of Bezalel come let the anointing of Ezekiel come let the prosperity of Solomon come let the leadership of Joseph come pray let the grace of Esther come let the favor of Jesus come let the anointing of Paul come. Let the prophetic dimension of Agabus come. Pray. Let the evangelistic grace of Philip come. I receive grace. Hallelujah. Listen. Now we are going to pray. Every call of an ambassador, write it, is a call unto responsibility. And responsibility entails preparation. Preparation entails sacrifice. Every call of an ambassador. You are not at your best yet. No matter how great you are. I'm speaking to generals tonight. You are not at your best yet. You know how to weave. Why are you stopping there? You know how to make hair. Why are you stopping there? Every time, let me teach you something. Every time, go on your knees before God and pray on your giftings and pray on your skill. Say, Lord, let an anointing come upon it. If you are going to have the next McDonald's, say, Lord, there will be an anointing. It will be a platform to heal the sick. That your eatery will be known as a miracle center. Hungry people will come and eat and live with more than just satisfaction. There's a song Alvin Slaughter sang. He said, what's that you have in your hands? I can use it. Only if you are willing to lose it. I learned it from Jang Fa. Years ago it was his song. He liked it. I tried to learn it from him. I, I just couldn't get it. He said, I'll take the little that you have. And make it brand new. Why? Because I am El Shaddai. Tonight can you submit your giftings? And say, Lord, it may not be much, but it can change nations. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I surrender my giftings and my skill. It may not be much. I may just know how to set sound. But Lord, take it tonight. Use it for your glory. Anoint it. I know I don't have a voice. I'm a shy person. But breathe upon this servant of yours. And make a voice out of me. I just know how to do beauty, makeup, and fashion. Bring upon it, O oh God, and give me a voice to the nations. I will stand for you. Lord, I don't know how to preach. I only have a passion for the lost. And the Lord is saying, I will anoint you. 
what you have is enough come on pray Lord this is what I have two loaves and five five fish Lord can it feed 5,000 people yes it can lift up your two loaves and five fish of talent Lord I am not eloquent I cannot speak good English I didn't go to a good school but I desire to serve you yes you can take you and make a wonder he made a wonder out of his camera Lord my village is not in the map of Nigeria Lord I don't know my purpose in life but I love you yes he can use you that's a good place to start Lord I don't know why I'm here on earth but you can start from there I don't know where you are taking me oh God but I'm willing I'm available I'm available I will not disappoint you I am available hallelujah run away listen to me run away from any company of friends that are visionless people and will not help you where you are going i don't care how long you are with them even if they grew up in your yard this is the time to tell them look i am going somewhere abraham got to a point where he told the servants you cannot follow me from here it's not that i hate you but where i'm going requires that i carry my sacrifice alone many of you that's the decision that will make god start using you this one leg in here and then another leg there better take the other leg this night and get serious sit down buy books go to jordan bookstore jordan is there buy the books you may have only gary run away from that stupid faith message that teaches you that if you don't have anything now your faith is not working sit down with your gary and buy the books and and, and drink it honorably the great drank gary like that too there was a time we drank it and we drank it honorably we ate bread and put granite inside and drank it with ten eras over and we we're praying in tongues don't think we didn't do it oh yes we did it the time we took ginger i killed two birds with one stone because i used to sing there so i used the ginger to that's all i could get and then i'll exercise my voice ten era bread and we put granite inside and eat it and say lord you are faithful now you are getting only beans and you are saying for the past four days i've eaten beans and they've taught you that's not a sign of faith use your money to buy books buy the truth sell it not sit down don't buy suit you don't need to look like joshua selman it took me years to get here don't frustrate yourself some of the suit i'm having people sold it into my life nobody will sew it into your life yet so stop trying to say i'm trying to look mm -mm. go and sit down sit down with your one trouser wash it iron it carry your bible you can't afford a concordance but you can afford 100 naira cafe other people are browsing in the day beg your friend for his internet for his model and sit down and browse you're signing a track record in the realm of the spirit say lady don't sit down and say who will come and marry me go and find out how to be a mother how to be a wife how to be a minister go and ask people that are married buy juice and go and greet our, our, our mommy prof is here our mommy Nankwa's mother is here buy juice and go and greet them pastor william's wife is here buy juice one day and go and greet and say mommy what will you advise me as a young lady I'll be going around and say who will come and marry me or who will come and go and marry me hallelujah and i say guy stop claiming the life of successful people and sit down and start asking them what they did to get to where they are, they are getting to all those i claim i claim i claim you see and you, yeah, i claim you even draw it you would draw it and sit down and see it there i tell you it will not come to pass hallelujah you can buy zobo i know that we have not attained yet but there is something we can tell you hallelujah make pepper soup and run and corner jakes and say jakes please god is sending me to the nations we went to massacre. We went for Panchin Crusade. We have gone for crusades. Jake single-handedly as an undergraduate student. 
took over the church of God in, in, in Shika, the church of God in Giwa. We used to tease him and say, he has Giwa, Giwa church or Giwa assembly. He was the president of, uh, of gospel team. He has something to say. It's time for you to begin to respect the grace and the people around you. You can look at your roommate. Stop looking at your roommate as your roommate. Start looking at the anointing upon your roommate. You may be 10 years older than the person. Hallelujah. Very important. The person may even be your mother. One day come and kneel down before your mother, not as your mother, but as the servant of God. And say, bless me. Let your hand touch my head. Open up a door of destiny. We did it in Lagos. Abi, there was a time we met Mommy Oje. That family is an enviable family. All of us got down on our knees. He said, Mommy, we will not go, we will not come back to Lagos until something happens. And that woman lives. See, let me tell you, we are like bees. We are a product of many blessings. It's not everything we got on our secret place. Follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the call. Some of you who are very rude to elderly people, you see whether it's your mother or your brother, you see everybody just insults them because you now know how to use Blackberry. Say, honor your father and your mother so that your days may be long. You don't honor them, you will die young. It's not a prophecy, it's the word of God. Men of character and grace. Say after me, I'm willing to sit down. Say it, I'm willing to sit down. And pay the price. And God will honor me. One more time, say I'm willing to sit down and pay the price yes let's see more of you in jordan bookstore go and meet the media collect koinonia messages god is sending you from ministry you don't have the tape of anybody only the program that you preach you just preach all kinds of disjointed scriptural things that's the only tape you have you are learning go and buy get these things they are free sit with them sit with them because they invited you and say okay go and preach in this final year program you suddenly carry one leader and say come you help me with my itinerary sit down Jerry. when i see people do all those things i tell them sit down i don't care what you think you are prophesying i'm not the kind of person you come to me and say god said the moon and start i tell you sit down now come with god be with god are you blessed tonight lord we thank you give us grace to sit down i assure you brothers and sisters you will bless god for these days of your life you will bless god ask our mothers and our parents and they will tell you as young people we are setting a great foundation lord we give you praise be glorified we thank you for the privilege and the opportunity in the name of jesus christ i pray Quickly, if you are coming here for the first time, inside and outside, please appreciate them, celebrate them as they come out. This is your first time of worshipping with us at Koinonia. Please rise up on your feet, jump out quickly. Thank you very much. Thank you, appreciate them. Don't sit back, there is a blessing for you. Come out boldly, come out confidently. God bless you, thank you, inside and outside. Come on, keep clapping, motivate them. Let them know we love them and we appreciate them. Oh, the beauty makeup lady. Good to see you. Thank you, Sars. Thank you, Mars. Hallelujah. How many of you were blessed tonight? Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. Meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And our desire is that we come to know the Lord and dedicate ourselves totally to Him and that we partner with Him to be ambassadors upon the earth. And I know your life will never be the same. I know that God brought you for a reason and He brought you to change you and to bless you. We want to pray for you right now. And as we pray for you, I want you to receive the prayers that will change your life. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands, saints of God, as we prophesy in the lives of these ones. In the name of Jesus, we declare that you are blessed, you are challenged, you are encouraged. You will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever challenge you came here with, we declare that it is lifted 
in the name of Jesus tonight God gives you an encounter with the Holy Spirit honor and value for the Word of God honor and value for the ministry of prayer honor and value to be like Jesus Christ we speak and we prophesy upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah praise God thank you so much I like hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching